After the green fields and fast, smooth roads of New Zealand, the FIA Asia-Pacific Rally Championship moves to the much different landscape of Canberra, Australia. The national capital is located between Sydney and Melbourne, a long way inland, and it's winter and freezing cold. Australia has been part of the APRC since its inception in 1988, when it ran the championship as a lead up to the WRC Rally of Australia in Perth. The APRC moved to Canberra in 1999 and was based here for 10 years until it moved to Queensland's Sunshine Coast. The Aussie Round returned to Canberra in 2017. With its rock-strewn landscape, the event has always had a reputation as a car breaker, with an additional, exclusively Australian hazard, kangaroos. In 2018, it's no different, but at least this year, the kangaroos seem happier eating grass than getting in the way of rally cars. A high-quality field of AP4 and R5 cars are at shakedown prior to the start of the Netia National Capital Rally, with the Asia-Pacific and Australian Rally Championship fields combined. There's an opportunity following shakedown for corporate guests to go for a ride in the rally cars, a mind-blowing experience for some. It's also when the teams pick up their free product from APRC partner, Worth. As the cars line up on Friday in downtown Canberra, the APRC field is headed by the development AP4 Cusco Toyota of New Zealander Mike Young and Australian navigator Scott Beckwith. After a DNF in New Zealand, when a spin resulted in serious engine damage, Young has one goal in mind. You know, I've got zero points in the championship at the moment, and for us, we just need to finish. You know, we really need to bring that car home, and uh, I think it'll be the best for the boys too. You know, they've worked pretty hard at Cusco. Starting at number two is Young's teammate Yuya Sumiyama in the Cusco Skoda Fabia R5. For the Japanese driver, the first round in New Zealand was a great start to his season. First in the APRC, resulting in 38 points in the driver and manufacturer championship standings. I am uh, looking for the uh, first time camera. Uh, I hope so. Uh, good result. Italian driver Fabio Frigero in a Peugeot 208 AP4 was second in New Zealand. While no stranger to rallying in Australia, it's his first time in Canberra and he's expecting it to be a challenge. It's very technical rally, not very fast, but uh, very technical and uh, it's difficult to find uh, to find the, 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 the reference during the road for finding the, the right uh, point where to, to break and to get the corner. Next is the first of the Australians, Harry Bates in an AP4 Toyota Yaris. Canberra is his hometown and he won here last year. Still, the young Australian knows that guarantees nothing. Yeah, I do know these roads well, but uh, they're always a challenge, no matter where you're from or who you are. So, um, you know, I think really the winner has to be there at the end first. And so as much as we want to push this weekend and, and go for the win, we're also going to have to, to make sure we, um, you know, strategize and, and really focus on finishing the event. Eli Evans is no stranger to the FIA Asia Pacific Rally Championship, having competed in a Group M Subaru in 2006 with the Les Walkton team. Roll on 12 years, and he starts this Canberra event with an MRF-sponsored Skoda Fabia R5, the same car that won here in 2017. It's my first time really on a high-grip surface in the Skoda R5, so um, I don't know, really know what to expect, but um, going from the results last year with OC and Gurav Gill, who dominated the event, um, I'm sure uh, there'll be no excuses. 
Also in a Skoda R5 is Adrian Coppin, and having lived in Canberra for 30 years, he has plenty of local knowledge. Bit of a hometown advantage, know the roads, learnt my craft here, so... Uh, however, I didn't do the event last year as I was playing event manager, so it's all new because I haven't done these stages in these directions, so it was a, uh, a busy day at Recce yesterday, but looking forward to it. After several seasons in the European Championship, Subaru driver Molly Taylor is a well-experienced international competitor. For sure, it's fantastic to have all the Asia Pacific cars come to Australia and then for us to be able to, to mix it with the, those guys as well and, and see where we, we sit in the, the Asia Pacific standings as well as the Australian Championship. So it's, it's always fun to have a few more cars and a few different cars and different drivers that we're not used to competing against. There are, all the rallies are challenging, but Canberra in particular, it's really, uh, really technical, quite tough on the cars. So it's really important to, to kind of obviously drive fast, but drive with your brain a bit as well. So um, it's always a challenging event when we come to Canberra. Over the ramp also goes Atsushi Masamura from Japan in a Mitsubishi Evo 10. Then there's Steve Glennie in a Subaru WRX. And Harry Bates' younger brother Lewis in an S2000 Toyota. The next morning it's fine but bitterly cold and first up is a short six and a half kilometre stage to get everyone warmed up. Evans in the MRF Skoda sets the pace, winning by 1.8 seconds from Harry Bates. The Toyota Yaris driver is just two tenths of a second faster than the hard charging Steve Glennie in his Subaru. He slots into third. On stage two, Glennie moves up to second when Bates has to slow briefly for a bunch of kangaroos. Flat crest, slight right. Slight right over the crest. Unfortunately, brother Lewis, who's sixth after stage one, retires on stage two after this heavy landing on a fast jump. After the break, the rough roads continue to take their toll. In the battle for APRC honours at Australia's National Capital Rally, Sumiyama is fifth overall and leads teammate Young by just four seconds. The New Zealander's Toyota has bent steering after a heavy landing on stage two, but he manages to get the gap to Sumiyama down to three seconds on the next test, when the Japanese driver gets a slow puncture. Young's usual APRC co-driver Malcolm Reed is calling the pace notes for Subaru driver Molly Taylor on this event. They lose three and a half minutes on stage three, stopping to change a puncture. It drops them from fourth to seventh overall. Taylor's demise is Adrian Coppin's gain. The Skoda driver moves up from fifth to fourth. Frigero had been in eighth place after stage one in the race talk run Peugeot but misjudges a jump on stage two and lands in a hole that breaks the suspension and damages the radiator. The Italian starts stage three but pulls over and retires after three kilometres when the engine starts to overheat. We, we will start tomorrow, fortunately, because uh, the, the mechanics uh, did uh, a good job uh, and uh, we, we were lucky because we, we saved the, the engine, so we are happy for this. With Frigero's retirement, Japan's Atsushi Masamura moves his Mitsubishi Evo 10 into eighth overall. A good recovery after coming close to retirement on stage three after hitting a rock. Stage four is the first of three runs through the 1.7 kilometre homestead stage, designed specifically for spectators. 
Bates is quickest by far through the stage. 1.2 seconds quicker than Sumiyama. The Japanese driver is the best of the Skoda runners through the spectator stage. Pipping Evans, who's third quickest by two tenths of a second. After four stages, the competitors head back to Canberra for a 20-minute service, with Evans leading Bates by 19.7 seconds and another 12 seconds back to Glennie. APRC competitors Sumiyama and Young are fifth and sixth, separated by just seven seconds. On the second run through the Homestead Spectator stage, Evans is quickest, four tenths of a second faster than Bates. However, on the third and final run, it's Bates who makes it two wins out of the three, a mere one tenth of a second quicker. While Bates and Evans battle it out for the stage win each time, entertaining the big crowd, Sumiyama is third quickest on each run. stage loose watch it pick your lines watch for the rough places watch that double jump which uh, caused yeah. a bit of grief this morning and watch for rocks being pulled out so five four three two one way 58 right 60 down back to the forest and it's a repeat plus. run through the morning Back. set of stages eight right First up is the 6.5 kilometre sprint on stage five, and we take the opportunity to follow APRC competitors Mike Young and co-driver Scott Beckwith through the stage in the Cusco Toyota Vitz. Nine right over crest, or down crest, 30. Five left short, closes, 40. Eight right, long. 70, 7 left, tightens to 6 minus, small cut, 30, 28 left over hump, 130, turn 2 right, up, rough exit, that was well driven, good job, 130, 6 left, 30, 5 right, hug on crest, then 70, 7 left, must cut, 100, Seven left, tightens to five, don't cut. 40, five right plus, in, 40. Six left, minus, 50. Turn five left, narrows. A time of four minutes and 30.5 right seconds is good enough for sixth fastest. Then flying finish, 50, then six left. That's a good job, mate, that's a much better drive. And handle those humps really well. Yeah, it's Bates who's quickest outright on stage five, taking 2.2 seconds off Evans' slender lead. The gap from first to second is now 17 seconds. But Bates' hopes of catching Evans go out the door on the next stage. His Toyota loses power and over three minutes with a failing turbocharger. <laughs> Young is also in trouble on stage eight, a puncture requiring a mid-stage tyre change, costing the New Zealander two minutes. He drops to seventh, but is suddenly promoted to fifth on the final stage of the day when Bates and Taylor both have further dramas. Bates' turbocharger woes continue, and with virtually no power, he has to cruise through stage nine, dropping another six minutes. And Taylor's Subaru suffers yet another puncture, and she has to pull over to do a mid-stage change. Back up to full speed, Taylor's caught out when she finds that the competitor in front has stopped too. She clouts a post as she takes evasive action to avoid a collision. The Subaru arrives back at nighttime service with a boot full of broken wheels and punctured tyres and the rear suspension in need of repair. It's a, a new day tomorrow, so um, you know all the boys will, will do their magic and um, get her back out. And yeah, the biggest thing is we, we managed to bring her back here.
Up and down the service park, teams are frantically working on their cars. Canberra's rough and rocky roads have taken a high toll. No one seems to have come through the day unscathed. Yeah, in the Hibernian, the first of the long two this afternoon, we just um, developed a bit of an issue and, yeah, we didn't quite know what it was at first. We had to limp out of the stage, but we've since discovered we've blown a turbo. So, yeah, it was disappointing. We felt like we were getting along really well this afternoon. Um, Australia, Canberra Road, uh, very bumpy and very rough, very dusty, very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Adrian, uh, a really good day. Yeah, look, I'm pretty happy with third. It, um, you know, I think I drove a smart rally today. The, the pace probably wasn't quite there, but uh, saw how rough the, the roads were after the first few passes and decided to you know, just pull it back and bring it home. I have experience on these roads in Cohen and know how hard they can be on, on a car. You know, it's so tough out there, especially on the second pass. All the uh, ruts start appearing and on the first pass where the car's bottoming out, it bottoms out even harder on the second pass because so many cars have been over it. So it was a um, survival, I think, <laughs> in the last, in the, in the second half of the day, but um, the Skoda R5, it's so strong. It's rough out there, um, but uh, very enjoyable roads, you know, linking corners together and uh, just trying to avoid the uh, the hazards or the rocks and logs and things that are thrown up, but um, we're in good shape. I guess that's part of testing, is, is to see what it can handle, and today was extremely rough and hard on the car. Good for us, you know, this is the first time this car's finished a, a day of a gravel rally before, so. I think the team is happy enough, even though they've got a lot of work to do now. But for us, I guess, in Cusco and TRD, they've, they've got to be happy that the car's good. Evans has a good 46-second lead, but as everyone knows, a puncture could easily erode that. Glenny is doing a fantastic job in second, while Sumiyama heads a 1-2 for the Cusco team in the APRC category. The action continues after the break with dramas for rally leader Evans. We also delve back into the archives and take a look at APRC Rally of Canberra from the year 2000 to 2006. Evan starts day two in Canberra, Australia with a handy 46 second lead. But the MRF driver runs into trouble on the first stage of the day when his windscreen fogs up after a water splash. It's near impossible to see the road ahead and Evans is in danger of losing a lot of time until co-driver Ben says he's quick thinking sees him turn a seat cushion into a screen wipe. The drama still costs plenty their 46 second lead over Glennie is cut to just 15 seconds. Also in trouble is Young. His Cusco Toyota is slow through the stage with a fading clutch and he drops to eighth. We catch up with Young prior to him starting stage 12. You think you'll make it through? I think so, as long as we just look after and just drive basically. We can't go fast at all, but yeah, just got to keep cruising through. While Young's Toyota is in trouble, the Bates version is back up to full speed, winning two stages in the morning loop and moving up to fifth place. Taylor also moves up a place into sixth, but is finding the heavier Subaru a handful in the twistier and tighter day two stages. Still, she's comfortably ahead of Masamura's Mitsubishi in seventh overall. Masamura's countryman Sumiyama continues his consistent drive, holding on to fourth spot in the Cusco Skoda. This means Sumiyama easily leads the APRC category, with Young currently second. Rejoining the rally on day two, Frigero has fought his way back to third place in the APRC, albeit hours behind the Cusco pair. Up front there's drama for Glenny as he loses a chunk of time on the first two stages of the afternoon with a blown turbo in his Subaru. Heading into the last stage of the rally, his former three minute margin on third place Coppin has shrunk to less than a minute. Skoda driver Coppin seizes the opportunity with a last minute attack and Julie moves up to second outright. 
while Glenny drops a spot to salvage third place, for Young and the Cusco team there is only final stage heartbreak. After nursing the Toyota through the whole day, Young is disappointed when the clutch gives out 10 kilometres from the finish. Come on, baby. There are no such dramas for Evans, though, who recovers from his vision issues early in the day by posting the fastest time on three stages and winning the Netia National Capital Rally by nearly five minutes. Eli, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, yeah, to win APRC and the Australian round as well is uh, it's good. We tried hard all weekend and. Ben did an exceptional job in really challenging conditions for a co-driver and how technical and twisty it is in points, but uh, he was spot on all weekend. So Miyama powers his Cusco Skoda to another fine finish. Fourth overall and victory in the Asia Pacific Championship category. He consolidates his points from New Zealand to easily lead the drivers and manufacturers standings. Uh, finish, uh, uh very very happy uh, uh, but very tough rally <laughs> very tough road uh, surface change and very difficult uh, very slippery very, uh, very grip high grip very slippery uh, change 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 Peugeot driver Frugero racks up another Asia Pacific finish but it hasn't been an easy weekend for the Italian we did a mistake, a big mistake yesterday on the, on the jump, in the jump. Uh, today we had a problem with the foggy, we, uh, we catch a, a big stone in the hills, uh, we punch everything this morning. This afternoon everything is fine, perfect. Sumiyama and co-driver Takahiro Yasui celebrate another Asia Pacific podium with the Cusco team. Frigero's efforts are rewarded too. He's presented with the FIA Pacific Cup by former APRC co-driver Alan O. Evans and CSC are the round winners of the FIA Asia Pacific Rally Drivers Cup, powered by Worth. They celebrate along with Coppin and Glennie. After two days of rallying, it's a comprehensive win for Evans, notably with three R5 Skodas in the top four. After the New Zealand and Australian APRC rounds, it's Hyundai driver Hayden Padden who leads the Worth Cup points, one ahead of Evans. And before we go, as it's the 30th anniversary of the FIA Asia Pacific Rally Championship, we take a look back at some of the APRC events held in Australia between 2000 and 2006. It's the new millennium and the FAI Rally of Canberra features rally stars like the late Possum Bourne from New Zealand. He battles it out with Japan's Katsu Taguchi in the forest around the national capital. A highlight of the event is the final stage, run on a horse racing track near the centre of Canberra. Born driving a Subaru Impreza, goes on from here to win the APRC driver's title for a third time that year. Moving to 2002, this is a year when the APRC is dominated by Malaysians Karanjit Singh and co-driver Alan O in a Group N Proton but they crashed out of the Canberra event. Roll on to 2006 and it's young Australian Cody Crocker's first entry in the Asia Pacific Championship. At the Canberra start ceremony, he's keenly looking forward to the challenge. Obviously a fantastic opportunity for us to do the Asia Pacific Championship, that next level up and, and see if we can do well in that. Crocker, along with Ben Atkinson and Subaru's Motor Image Rally team, goes on to win the APRC Championship four times, more than any other driver-co-driver -driver combination. That rally also sees the first appearance in Australia of the Cusco team from Japan, with its driver Hiroshi Yanagasawa. 
The next event on the 2018 APRC calendar is Malaysia's International Rally of Johor.